Hello everyone. Long time no see. How the hell is it going? Ah, This is what sunlight feels like. Man, I've been cooped up in the house for about two months <laughs> because of uh, uh, me. I've been playing video games. Maybe you see me play with uh, the Black Cobra, uh, Sensei Vegan, EUC Chronicles as we were playing Halo Infinite on Twitch. And uh, I work overnight shifts now, so if you can imagine, you know, I come home, delve into those uh, games and go to bed, and then on my days off, I play video games. <laughs> so it feels good to be out. It's nice to get that sun in my face. It's been a while since I rode uh, electric unicycles too, man. Uh, I got the wireless lav mic out. It's been a while since I used that. Last time I used that, I think, is when I was learning how to ride electric unicycles. And uh, I think you should be able to get nice quality audio coming out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I am tired, so I'm not going to do anything fancy. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys. Maybe we can talk a little bit about uh, the new wheels that are coming out. Uh, We'll ride the S18 a little bit because it's been a while since I rode that. Uh, currently, it's at 70% uh, battery. It's been sitting around for about a month and a half, so it needs uh, some juice going through it. So I'm going to get set up now. I mean, I always advocate safety gear. I got the Lazy Rolling jacket. This is the windproof version, so it's made for the winter. Wear a helmet. If I catch you not wearing a helmet, boy, well, hey, it's your head. Got my handy dandy knapsack with a light on there. Uh, this jack, this uh, backpack's actually a pain in the ass to put on when I have the armor. Could be a little too tight as well. All right, that's, that was a little bit of a pain in the ass to put on, to tell you the truth. There, I found, I found a new place to put the microphone, right there. This whole setup, getting ready, is actually a pain in the ass. Um, I need to find a way to simplify this when I want to ride and stuff like that because you know say you want to go to the grocery store or you want to you know just take a quick ride without spending so much time getting ready you know maybe it's time to find a way to uh, suit up a little bit easier I think that's where the motorcycle pants uh, lazy rolling pants come in uh, the lazy rolling jackets I think that will be a good solution. Just put it on, go ahead and go, you know. Um, thinking about getting some hillbillies, full finger gloves, especially during the winter. I, uh, especially uh, when it gets cold out, I use a uh, baklava underneath my helmet that keeps all the wind out from the neck area and around the cheeks because trust me, the wind goes right through the helmet very easily. Okay, so. Let's go take a quick ride. Uh, we'll do some B-roll of me getting on here. And uh, we'll stop right down the street and just talk really quickly. So yeah, uh, like I said, took a little bit of time of me uh, to get on an electric unicycle. It's been, like I said, a couple of months. Uh, I'm so sorry. But as you see, you know, getting on it, it's, 
you know, it's just like riding a bike. You know, the muscle memory is still there. Um, I'm taking it easy. I'm not going fast. I'm just, just going with the flow. Let the, the brain just say, hey, I remember this. This is a, a cool and fun thing to do. You do? But the S18 is very carvy, guys. Very carvy. What was I trying to say here? Let's take a stop for a minute. Let me just see what the battery life is on the S18 right now. Since I started at 70, it's probably a good idea for me to turn that on too. Um, let's go to darkness bot. Darkness bot. Darkness bot. Okay, it's at 66% right now. 66. And um, yeah, we're good on that. Let's go talk about these new wheels coming out. These new wheels that are coming out, guys. Um, you know, you got the S20, we have the Abrams, we have the Hero. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's the V12 that came out already. That's still new. Um, personally, I want the S20. That thing looks rugged as all hell, except for the, the side pads which uh, maybe they're being refined, but I do remember Electric Dreams being on the Black Cobra's stream, and the question that was asked was, when is this wheel releasing? And he was uh, Electric Dreams was fumbling a little bit of the when the release date was gonna be, and it was narrowed down to be in December. Now, obviously it's December, and on eWheel's site, it says now, ETA is in March. This is not a bad thing. First of all, we have the shipment problems overseas, you know, um, whatever is going on between the United States and China too, economically, but it could also be the factor of that the wheel needs more work. Maybe they're listening to the community about, you know, what needs to be the best uh, electric unicycle. You got to treat electric unicycles these days like games you know if you release something too early like a game too early that game's going to be shit most likely if you release a electric unicycle most likely you're going to need patches and most likely you're going to need you know different batches so the more they update the more they work on these wheels before release the better so I'm still thinking the S20 is going to be a good wheel. Um, the Abrams, I like the looks of it. The, the Abrams looks really awesome, you know what I'm saying? Let's take a little ride while we're talking. The Abrams looks good, but I'm a little concerned about the cutoffs. Now, I believe Leprechim, uh, yeah, Leprechim already acknowledged the fact that there's something wrong with some of their wheels. 
been acknowledged. But, um, you know, still a little iffy about it. Um, the next, the next wheel, what is the next wheel? The Hero. The Hero actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm really interested to see how that thing runs, uh, how waterproof it is, how the suspension is. You know, just let me know how it is. You know, I want to see reviews on it. But I'm not going to get a wheel right off these days because I know I did that. The first thing when I uh, was into the electric unicycle hobby was to buy the freaking best wheels that I could find. And, of course, I settled with a Sherman. And I settled with... Oh, there's a car behind me. I want to go this way. But... There's a car behind me. Whoa. You like my showmanship? That was bad. Hold on one second. That was floppy as all hell. Like I said, two months without riding. All right, here we go. Um, where was I? <laughs> Where was I with this conversation? I've totally forgot where I was at this conversation. Yeah, but these new wheels, I'm not gonna get one right off. I'm gonna wait to see what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? I think that's the best option is just wait and see. Um, I hate to be a test dummy. I don't like being a test dummy. You know, um, I sold my RS-19, you know, in the beginning of the year because of the, you know, the fire issues, the fires. Um, any wheel can catch on fire, guys. But with my wheels, in my situation, I know the risk is there, but I want to minimize the risk. <laughs> the InMotion V12 seems to be a solid wheel. I haven't heard any bad things about it. Um, all that much. I heard it's very dependable. It's very nimble. It's got a lot of speed. It's got a lot of power and You know, I'm riding. What is it an 18 inch wheel the s18? You know what I'm saying? but a 16 inch wheel like You know the King song 16x That was a good wheel and if the v12 can be like the next 16x Hey, I'm all in it man I am all in it. It's, it. it's just so silky smooth, guys. It's so silky smooth. So silky smooth, baby. Yeah. So definitely, I think, you know, with these new wheels, guys, is not to get too hyped up about it. Um, I know it's okay to get excited. I get excited about these new wheels too. But I hate for people to buy a wheel and then find out that they don't like it, you know, or it wasn't for them. You know, let the shopkeepers who run these EUC businesses make the reviews first. Let them test it out thoroughly, um, and then after that, you can make your informed decision because, you know, we shouldn't have to be the test dummies. I think the people who actually sell the wheels should be the first ones to be, I'm sorry, the test dummies. Um, these wheels are getting expensive. Um, there's a lot of problems with some of these wheels, like fires, um, but you know, bad mechanisms in the wheel. And honestly, I've had enough seeing people suffer with these issues on their wheels. And it's about time that we just kind of sit back and wait. Just sit back and wait to see what happens for 2022. That's all I gotta say about that.
We got that? We got that on video? Alright. Number one. First thing I hate about this electric unicycle. Not even in the unicycle itself really, it's it's the pads. The pads suck on here. The pads suck on here so bad. They're very stiff. There's, there's no cushion to it. I just don't like it and I don't want it. So I did try Russian pads on there. I did try Russian pads on there and they make it too, too, uh, what is it called? Too thick. So I took that back off and I put um, the original pads back on the S18. I just glued it back on. So we just need, we just need more cushion more cushion for the pushing, you know, for the grabbing and the pulling. That's right. Okay. The second thing I don't like about the S18 are the Schrader valve for the suspension. Again, it's not a fault to the wheel performance itself. It's the Schrader valve is so easy to strip, plus the pump that comes with the S18 sucks. It sucks. So, you're better off getting a better pump uh, for this. But again, very easy, very easy to um, Which way do they go, George? Which way do they go? strip the valve. Wow. Somebody needs to go to bed. Oh, look at that. I think that's a trail right over here. Well, this certainly is nice. I like it. The top two things that I like about the S18, suspension. <laughs> Easily, the suspension. The suspension on this is really good. I mean, you still have to bend your legs and stuff, but once you get it dialed in, man, it's smooth, smooth as butter. Um, the second thing I like about this wheel, guys, is it feels like you're gliding on tar. And sometimes it's a little too scary. Um, it kind of feels like you're sliding on ice when you're riding on pavement. Um, at first, this wheel can wobble on you if you're not used to how nimble it is. But once you get used to it, um, definitely it's a smooth ride. Um, it doesn't go fast. It's advertised as, what, 31 miles per hour uh, max. but this is a good trail wheel, good chill wheel. You know, you can do tricks with these if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to this. Um, so there's going to be three dislikes. The third dislike is there's no jumping apparatus. L let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you see right here, you have what's called Fuji inspired jump pads they don't do shit there's not enough grab on there yeah you could probably fit a little bit of your shoe in the alcove but that's about it um it's i haven't found how to lift this wheel up or preload on this uh, there's not a, enough grip right here um this little area here on the pads is okay like when you bend down your um your leg kind of fits right in here and your knee will be right up here so it kind of helps you stay stable when you're bent down so yeah I mean that's like the third thing that I hate about this thing so that means we got to add a third thing of what we do like about this electric unicycle a third thing that we do like and um, I don't know yet <laughs> I haven't ridden this wheel enough to actually um, give you my third opinion but it's really fun guys let's go let's go down the hill now uh. do, you, do you think I can fit through there let's find out let's see if I can fit through there
me, your friendly neighborhood casual rider, made it on the other side. I feel like a tough guy. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hey, is there any food? Look, I got a track too I can ride on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm the next. I'm the next Mike Sacristan. Beard and all. Uh, what? Well, gotta find a good angle for this. Right here. Probably like that. Okay. Is it still recording? All right. Let's do this. I'm gonna turn. Let's rock. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Are you okay, camera? Are you okay? Do you need CPR? Mm. You okay? Okay, I'm giving CPR to my GoPro. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, he's awake. Oh, how's it going? How's it going? Do you think I can make it up this hill? Do you think I can make it up this hill? Now coming back down will probably be a bitch, but here. I just hope this camera doesn't fall down again, that's all. Let's see what the battery life is here. Battery life says 54%. Okay. Max speed 17. Okay. Oh, you see it now? You see it? You see it? Okay. Glad you saw it. I got, I'm glad I got that right in your face. Just be glad it wasn't my nut in your face. Sorry, I learned too much shit talking by playing Halo. Made it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm, just, I'm a filthy casual, right? That hill looks steep to me, but the S18 did pretty good. Coming down was a little scary. Now, I may not be too. Siri, you're a bad assistant today. You're interrupting our fucking podcast here. Bitch. All right. You better not respond to that. You, hey, since we're here, since we're here, guys, let's see if we can practice <laughs> riding backwards, okay? Let's see if we can ride backwards. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. Nope. Okay, here we go. This is like riding... Electric unicycles all over again. Oh, oh, ah, damn it. I can't do it. Ah. Oh. Wish me luck. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, I know it's doable, but Ugh. so this that's something we're going to have to learn for 2022 is riding backwards. I can tell the ace wasn't talking to you again, Siri. Okay, going up the hill. Whoa. Kind of like crouched down, like really hard on this thing. Oh, I got a trolley handle it over here. Handle our electric unicycle. Let's 
see the maze here. Oops, get stuck. My backpack's getting stuck. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting stuck over here. All right. Oh, look, here's a hill. Can we make it up there? You didn't see that. I didn't make it up the hill. I could have. I probably could have. Probably could have. Hey, see this place? This is where I train. <laughs> uh, electric unicycle riding. So, um, yeah. So I guess we're going to end this video here, guys, because 2022 is coming up. And you know what I'm going to fucking do, guys? I'm going to ride. I'm going to ride electric unicycles. If all goes good as it's been going so far, I should have four days off a week. I work all overnight right now. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a good summer. And the moral of this story is it's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a break from life, you know, once in a while. Uh, I know it might be hard for some people because you got kids to take care of or you got a wife to feed or a house to pay off. But if you're like me and really don't have kids, you don't have a house to take care of, <laughs> um, you can probably do those types of things. But that doesn't mean you still can't do that if you did have those things. Here's another thing I want to try. You ready? I want to see if I can sit on this thing just the way it is. Ready? Certainly is doable as you can see. Not too bad, not too shabby, daddy. So, may 2022 be an awesome year. May you all have a happy holidays. Um, I am eyeballing that S20, that S20 man. That's what I want to get, and I also want to get the V12, but I'm also happy with my Sherman. Um, really happy with that. So those are the wheels that I want. What are the wheels that you want? Um, are you going to wait? Are you going to wait, guys, before your next wheel? Do you have the S18? What has been your experience with the S18? Has it been good? You know, I'd just like to know your thoughts about these wheels and ideas of content that you want me to make. That'll probably be a good idea, you know? All right, time to go. Y'all be good, and may the force be with you.